conspiracy theory, a belief that some secret but influential organization is responsible for an event or phenomenon. This article is from Campus Sports. Every so often a controversy erupts surrounding an athlete or a team's legitimacy. Many conspiracy theories have been debunked and some confirmed. However, there is a merit of secrecies that remain unanswered and will likely forever be left to speculation. Here I will present five of the greatest sports mysteries. Number five, Spygate. The New England Patriots have been blamed for an ample amount of various offenses, including Spygate, Deflategate, and other acts of presumed cheating. The first instance in which the team was caught red-handed took place in September of 2007 during an early regular season game against the New York Jets. New England video assistant Matt Australia's camera was seized by the NFL security staff. The footage revealed prohibited recording of the Jets' staff defensive signals. The film was consequently deleted. The Patriots was fined and they issued an apology. Spygate 101 was supposedly done and dusted by controversy resurfaced prior to Super Bowl 36 when the former Patriot employee Matt Walsh claimed he had footage of the St. Louis Rams walkthrough. Mysteriously, however, Walsh later retracted his previous statement and apologized for running the story. Bill Belichick was fined $500,000 and the league had the tapes destroyed. As to what was actually on them would never be known, though it's difficult to say whether or not the tapes possessed any substantial material that may have contributed to the Patriots' ensuing win over the Rams. It nevertheless raised many eyebrows. Number 4. Carl Lewis's alleged use of PEDs. During the Seoul 1988 Olympic Games, Carl Lewis finished first in the men's 100 meter sprint with a final time of 9.92 seconds, breaking Calvin Smith's 9.93 second world record set in 1983. Here's where things get messy. The original winner was Canada's Ben Johnson, who finished first with a final time of 9.79 seconds. Two days later, Johnson tested positive for Stan Zolo and was stripped of his gold medal, which was subsequently awarded to Lewis. This would be all good and well if Lewis himself wasn't also under fire for substance abuse. He had failed three tests prior to the 1988 Olympics, but it was ruled inadvertent by the International Olympic Committee, the IOC. He was still permitted to compete. Track and field during the 1980s was pervaded with substance abuse as athletes fell drug tests left and right, although Lewis himself was vocal about being adamantly opposed to steroids. It's difficult to trust the word of someone who was caught for the same thing on three different accounts. It's no wonder that the 1988 event would be known as the dirtiest race in history. Number 3. The 1972 Immaculate Reception With only 117 remaining in the fourth quarter of the 1972 divisional playoff game, the Pittsburgh Steelers were down 7-6 to the Oakland Raiders and the clock was ticking. In the last ditch effort to give the Steelers an edge, Bradshaw gunned a pass to John Fuqua. Just as Fuqua reached out to make the catch, Raiders safety Jack Tatum bulldozed into him, sending the ball flying into the arms of a waiting Steeler, Franco Harris, who ran the ball back for a touchdown. The Steelers offense stormed the end zone, jumping and celebrating with the heroic running back. And the Pittsburgh Steelers went on to win the game 13-7, but there was just one problem. It's thought that the pass should have been ruled incomplete, though the rule has since changed. At the time, it stated that if a player hits the ball before another player maintains possession, then the pass is incomplete. Many people watching on TV noticed that day, and after the game, controversy erupted. Fuqua himself admitted in a post-game interview that he did initially touch the ball before it flew into the arms of his teammate. Nevertheless, the score stood, leaving one of the most controversial plays in NFL history. Number 2. Michael Jordan's Retirement Michael Jordan's retirement is one of the biggest mysteries in the NBA. Why would the greatest NBA player suddenly call it quits while at the height of his career? Some theorists believe that it was the NBA cracking down on Jordan for his gambling addiction. The main source of this credibility for this rumor is a 1993 publication citing Jordan's gambling habits. However, others argue that after his father passed away, Jordan's love for the sport died with him. 
This would also explain why he picked up baseball in his father's honor. Nevertheless, the reasons behind Jordan retirement will always be left up for debate. Number 1. The 1973 Battle of the Sexes On September 20th of 1973, Billie Jean King trounced Bobby Riggs in three straight sets in a match coin, quote, Battle of the Sexes, end quote. However, many speculate that Riggs intentionally threw the match. There are a few different indications back in this theory. Many people cite the fact that Riggs soundly defeated Margaret Court, the number one female tennis player in the world at that time, just four months earlier in the first battle of the sexes, perhaps for the sake of giving more credibility to women's tennis. Riggs willingly allowed King to crush him. It's also noted that Riggs lobbed up an unusual number of shots directly to King's red zone, though some suggest this was due to King's old age. Others have a hard time complying with the idea that his ability declined so rapidly over the course of four months. An alternative theory proposes that Riggs, a prominent gambler, had racked up some heavy debt in Vegas, $100,000 worth, in order to shake the mafia from his back Riggs promised a spectacle up to Vegas standards that would earn his creditors millions for betting against him. Though numerous reasons for suspicion piled up against Riggs, he vehemently denied throwing the match. It remains one of the most widely contended events in sports history. Thanks for watching. I've been Sean Mack. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And get in that comment section. Let me know out of the top five which was your favorite or nine favorite. Once again, thanks for watching the top five greatest mysteries in sports history. Peace.